Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to the land of a thousand cranes, <laughs> Disney's Animal Kingdom. All right, let's do some Animal Kingdoming. She's doing some water drawings of Pluto, and she just did Donald. I don't know, can you guys see them? Pretty neat. Man, this looks awesome. I cannot wait. Look at how awesome the tree looks right now. And as always at Animal Kingdom, lots and lots of construction malls because they're doing a lot here. Last time we came, some people were asking where Creature Comforts is, the new Starbucks. So basically we walked in right there and then we made a left. Tree of Life is right there. And then we just walked down this path and then like straight ahead of us at the end of this path is Creature Comforts, the new Starbucks. So yeah, like Pizza Fari is first, but then that building right there, moot is the Starbucks. And as you cross the bridge with Tusker House ahead of you, Harimbe off to the right, the best view ever in the park down here. Expedition Everest. There it is. It's such a nice shot. It's so beautiful today, too. Back in the New Harimbe Market to have a look around. Like, there's just like backpacks here. I could totally leave my backpack there with it. Nobody would touch it. Here's the like commemorative cup you can get in the with the Star of Harimbe alcoholic drink for $17.25. Every time we come into Animal Kingdom, we go into New Harimbe, we have to go into Zuri's to see if just on chance the poop snacks are back. I don't think they will be, but I mean, it can't hurt to look, right? Still no poop snacks, but I do really like the hippopotamus marshmallow things. I think they're really fun. I do have to admit though, the poop snacks were fun, but look at the size of this cookie for like 50 cents more than the poop snack. Just came around the corner from Harimbe Market, which is like right there. And just popped around and there's this beautiful view of uh, the Tree of Life. Here's a closer view of the Tree of Life. Look at how beautiful it is out today. You know, like the wind blowing through the bushes and the tree and the waterfall. It's perfect. Baloo's over there, but we, we missed our chance to go in and meet him. So he's, he's, the line's closed off for right now. So I wanted to show you guys the Rivers of Light construction that's going on. This is going to be the nighttime show here. Out over the water. It's going to be very nice. I think we're going to get a couple of other nice shots of it somewhere. And that little island right there is our newest addition to the whole group of stuff that they're doing for... What's it? For building? Yeah, it's a nighttime show, right? Huh? It's a nighttime show? It's gonna be. Yeah. What's it gonna be called? It's gonna be at, uh, stands over there. We're gonna have water shots. Ah, okay. That's pretty neat. 2017 actually have it done. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Right in time for Avatar to open. They got all these like fun Animal Kingdom popcorns here. Curry popcorn. Oh, thank you. Sorry, it's called Rivers of Light. That's what the name of the nighttime show is. Just past the monkey enclosure, I don't remember this little walkway being here ever. But maybe I'm just unobservant, because that is a very common occurrence. Look at Expedition Everest off in the background. Also a little bit of refurb here on the facade. I don't know what this is from, but just like a little building here that's getting a little bit of a facade refurbishment. Yeah, Expedition Everest off in the background. So nice. Don't you worry, we will ride Expedition Everest. I don't know if you guys can like see through the scrim here, but we can kind of see what the the shoreline is going to look like for the river show. So as we walked past Nemo over here, there's this whole new area where the construction wall has been pushed back. And you can kind of see here the curbs leading down into where the seating area will be for Rivers of Light. Like back there where the scaffolding is and stuff. And it'll be all out over top of the river out there. Just across from the giant Apatosaurus, Bronchiosaurus, whatever it's called now. We don't really know anymore. Brachiosaurus? <laughs> Brontosaurus? What is it? I'd love to see this dinosaur selfie right now. It's probably like this. Because it's got little short arms, right? So on the other side of uh, the dinosaur area, this is the other side of that cutout or that like little pass-through that we were filming. Like I, I showed the, the little walkway to get down to the seating and then if you had walked straight, you would end up over here. Look at this soft shell turtle that just popped up in the river. Bye. Oh no, he, he's still like hanging out. Oh no, he's going down. See you later. Into the Merc. Holy macaroni, the line for Pocahontas is out the door. Last time we were here, Flame Tree was closed and now it's open again. As soon as you come out of Dino, U Dino Land USA, actually the entrance to the park is like right over there. Come in, Flame Tree Barbecue. It's a tasty, tasty food. Here comes Doug and Russell. Walking through the park. I like the way that he like runs like a little dog. They're best friends. 
people can find in water. Walking into it's tough to be a bug and look at this tree of life right above us. It's beautiful. That's fast pass right there. We're in like regular entrance. 10 minute wait. Look at this crazy like howler monkey face on the tree right here. Also this snake. And this gecko. Ooh, that was crazy looking. Who's ready to see it's tough to be a bug? I'm sorry I can't show you guys the actual video because it's in 3D and it wouldn't show up on the camera. It's I'm gonna try guy. to show you guys. Oh yeah, it is a magic guy. Quick, you cross see? your eyes. Is it a sailboat? It's, it's a, a schooner. schooner. <laughs> uh, but then we'll we'll get like Hopper up here. Is that what his name is? Hopper? I think so. The big big grasshopper. What are these humans wearing on their heads? Oh, I made a This loser out of my sight. Bring in the evidence. Friends don't exterminate friends, do they? Magnifying glasses are for looking at little things, not for burning little things. See ya. I like it's tough to be a bug. Some of the best theming of any like screen show out there and the most advanced animatronics. It's way cool. Oh, this doesn't look good. We come out and it looks like a crazy rainstorm is coming in. We stopped off to hear some animal noises. I'm gonna be the designated button pusher. Let's push it. Ooh. All right, who do we think that is? A tiger? A tiger. Now, do we know if tigers like to live by themselves or in groups? Tigers in groups. By themselves, but lions are groups. Indeed they are. So what's a group Ooh. of lions called? A pride. Pride. Yes, indeed. And, and tigers do like to live by themselves. They are solitary animals. <laughs> oh. That's a horse. <laughs> That's a very good guess, but it is one of these three animals here. That's a frog. Indeed, it is a frog. Now, that species of frog, only the boys make that noise. So who do you think they're talking to? The ladies. The ladies. That's a this frog one. pickup line you're hearing. So they're saying, come on over to my lily pad. Oh, yeah. I'll turn into a prince, that sort of thing. Hey, right? Jen. So. <laughs> hey, girl. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, instantly attracted to you. <laughs> yeah, it works. So it works, man. All right, and we got one more. Button pushing. Oh. Who is that? I would say that it's this last one, the Siamang. The Siamang, very good. Now, the Siamangs are actually a type of ape. Do you know the difference between a monkey and an ape? Tails. They're yeah, they're tails. Yes, indeed, a monkey has a tail and an ape oh. doesn't. So, yes, so this is our Siamang. Now, you see that part of its neck right there? Yeah. That is its throat sack, and it fills it with air and amplifies its call, so you can hear it up to two miles away. Oh. We saw one of those on the Tree of Life on the way into Bug. Uh, it's tough to be a bug. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of really cool animals on our Tree of Life. And if you want to see the real Siamings, they're actually right over there. Ooh, Look, there he is swinging. Oh, man. That, that was, was awesome. Good. That was like the yeah. perfect timing. We've got uh, yeah. twin sisters in there. They're pretty cute. We are now oh, wilderness explorers because we got a book. Badge too. And we like we got some badges. Oh. We will continue to do this as every time we come back to Animal Kingdom. We'll do like a couple of extra every time. All right, we're try gonna try to make it on before the rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain while we're on it. That would be no fun. This Fast Pass Plus line is ridiculous. Here we go. Bye everybody. Whoa. Oh no, it's raining. Oh no, I gotta put the regular camera away. All right, sorry, I had to put the camera away because it's a brand new camera out in the rain, but we just rode Expedition Everest in the rain and it was terrible. I do not suggest you do it. This little monkey right here is just like playing with this rope. Well, he was earlier. I don't know, he like gave up on it. He was like, eh, I'm playing with the rope. And then he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this food. Every time we're at Animal Kingdom, we gotta stop and watch him play because they're so good. try and ride the train over to Rafiki's Planet Watch and go to the petting zoo, yay! All right, we're going on the Wildlife Express to Conservation Station. Oh, we're just taking the train. 
Yeah, we're just taking the train right now. Yeah. Look guys, it's just like we're at King's Cross in platform nine and three quarters. It was a pretty fun little train ride. And now we're heading, I think, to a petting zoo. Look at the elephants. There's Rafiki. And he's like, welcome! Nothing to just yet, but numbers are disappearing out there. Well, we came up to like some little monkeys. Really cool thing about those emperor cameras, check out the big white mustaches. Who is the center of the exhibit? Joffrey Marmosets from Brazil. Heck now, yeah. The big difference between Marmosets and cameras has to do with dental structure. Marmosets has specialized in canine teeth. All right, this is pretty awesome. All right. I don't know where we go, in here or over there? That looks like the petting zoo. Should we go that way? Yes. Or should we go inside the AC for a second? We can go in there and look at it. Alright, let's do it. Conservation station. Oh, this place is fun. You can take a picture with like a giant rhino. Or like this tiger. Look at this tiger's face. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. There's like the, the, the lady from, from Pocahontas. The oh. willow tree. Oh, I, is she gonna talk to us? Maybe. I don't know. She does in rainforest. Oh, what are they doing? They're like climbing up here to do something maybe. I don't know. This is like where they do animal interactions, it looks like. But I don't know that they're gonna do it. I think they're just checking something out. And there's Chip and Dale, hanging out in Conservation Station. Heck yeah, and Rafiki. There's no line for, well, there's a little line for Rafiki. This looks awesome. She's like preparing food for the animals. Ladies and gentlemen, the backside of Chip and Dale. We're heading into the petting area. Let's do it. Good Lord, that is a big old kimono dragon. He is gigantic. Oh, they sheared the sheep with a little Mickey in the side of him. That's fun. Oh, look. Like a seeing eye dog. Yeah. He has like an Oswald or something. Oh, peeing. Yeah. It's going down. Sees the dog, starts peeing. This is pretty interesting. Wow. That was crazy. Hey, Mr. Goat, or Mrs. Goat, sorry. Oh, you have to give him a pet. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Oh, you're so sweet. Check it out, all these goats, man. Goats galore. Okay. Nope. Uh, uh, that was good stuff right there. Huh. Just licking out of Salt Lake right there. Oh, you're so nice. Look, guys, the donkeys. They look soft. They look very pretty. I want to pet him. Are we allowed to pet him or no? Because they're behind us. I don't know. You might have to ask somebody that works here. I'm, I know, I know nothing. This is pretty intense. Hey there. How are you? No, you don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said that they would tell you if they didn't like it by a slight head movement. Yeah. Let's try again. Maybe a nice soft. Don't do it. Nope. Okay. He doesn't like it. Sorry. My bad. They're very upset because she's coming out with like enrichment for somebody. Is this enrichment for the donkeys? Whoa. Heck yeah. It's party time. Oh, the goats are coming over for the toy too. This is, this is like, I feel like we're all hurting towards the same spot. This is crazy. Oh, there's like food inside of it. Ow, oh geez. They're pushing me out of the way. Ow, one stepped on my toes. Kind of hurt. All right. This is crazy. Are you getting it? 
Oh yeah, there's so much poop coming out of there. There's like food that comes out of the ball and the donkey gets to eat it. And he's very excited. Eat it. Hey there. Oh dear. It's gonna be like a goat party here in a minute. Yeah, well it, it, it's been a goat party. Oh, they all yeah. want this ball. Well yeah, there's like, there's treats inside of it and they're like waiting for it to come out. Oh no, Jen just stepped in the poop. Goat party and sheep. One sheep and the rest are goats. I like this goat, he's crazy looking. It's like the king of the mountain. Oh, chewing on the fence, eh? I know that feeling. Nom 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 Chewing on the fence, you know, same old, same old. The butterfly. <laughs> Yay! I think we're all done with the petting zoo and now we're gonna get on the train and head back and maybe do uh, the safari. One of the um, safari trucks, just like driving down the road. And then our train pulling in. Oh, I like the like the, the skull with the horns on the front of it. That's way cool. And the bike. Joshua Fellow. Hey. So we went up to the line for Kilimanjaro Safaris. We have fast passes, but the fast pass line was like out the door. So we decided, eh, we'll skip it this time. We'll go ride dinosaur. We got fast pass for dinosaur too. So I'm gonna try my hardest to explain where we're at right now. We're down like a little like side walking path. Down that way is New Harimbe, and we walked out of it and then we popped in the side over here. And look at this like seating area. If you come up here, you get your food somewhere and you bring it up here, this is perfection. Like nobody's back here. All four tables are wide open. You just sit here in peace and even if it's raining, come underneath here and be protected from the rain and everything. But a really good indicator you might have in the Isle is if you find an owl pellet, which is kind of a super cool, super gross thing these guys do. After they eat, they cast up a pellet. And what that is, it's all the stuff they can't digest, the skin, the bones. If you're in Girl Scouts, Boy, Boy Scouts, sometimes they dissect it to see what they're eating. 
So if you ever see one laying around trees somewhere, keep your eyes and ears open, because chances are you do have an owl in the area. And like I said, this show is going to start in just a couple minutes. You are more than welcome to go inside. Remember, when you do, it does not matter where you are in there. It's a fully flighted bird show. They are going to be flying all around you, inches from your head. Uh, just if you have cameras, video cameras, keep them out. They really do like having their pictures taken. Uh, if you drink any of that, feel free to bring it in with you. Just keep it to yourselves. These birds, they do try to share sometimes. That's right, guys. Marvel is working their way into the uh, parks. Hail Hydra. We're outside of the dinosaur area. And there's the Dinorama, there's Primeval World, and right across here is Pluto and Goofy. Pretty awesome. This is the quintessential Tyklozowski. This uh, gift shop also has refrigerated candy, the smartest thing ever, but you are paying $2 for a standard size Snickers. We just came out of the gift shop that is at the end of Dinosaur and we're gonna go through the exit this way to get to the line. Here's the exit right here, there's the gift shop and we're just gonna go around this side. Whoa, look at that line! Oh no, I think Dinosaur is down. This is not good. Oh dear. All right, we're gonna get in our Fast Pass line here. All the way down there, Jeez, Louise. This is actually one of our next Disney movies in our marathon is Dinosaur. Yeah. That will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. Figuratively. All right, let's really test out the low light here on Dinosaur. got two more uh, wilderness badges on the way out, so now we're up to five, I think. That's pretty darn good. We need 31, and we got five done. That's a good good start right there. We're fifth of the way through, right? I think so. Also, leave me a thumbs up down below if you guys want us to come back and do the book more, because we learned a lot of stuff about animals today. Still, one of our absolute favorite parks out of all of Disney is Animal Kingdom. It was a lot of fun today. I definitely want to go back. I definitely want to do more wilderness explorers, because we we're like already, we're four badges in. I know I said we were five badges in, but we're four badges in. That's like, that's good. We're, we're like on the way to becoming full-fledged wilderness explorers. So I gotta go get my, my rest, my wilderness explorer rest, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.